Hi everyone, uh, today we're going to talk something about energy, um, specifically for mechanical energy. We're going to talk something uh, about what is mechanical energy, what kinds of mechanical energy are there, uh, what are their formulas, their units, uh, some drills at the end, and also we're going to talk something about their characteristics and some of their, their main features. So uh, our first question today is what is energy? Probably every one of you has a definition, its own definition about energy uh, and I'm quite sure that it's not wrong, it's just using other words to try and say the same thing. And uh, I also, when I was at school when we learned about energy, uh, different guys had different uh, opinions, different de definitions about the energy. But uh, I'm going to talk about the definition that they learned us, that they said, which is the right one. Uh, and that states, the ability of the objects to perform an action or to perform a work is called mechanical energy. Uh, so energy is equals with A. This A is that work or that action that we that we mentioned. Uh, I, I'm going to make it clear that we are talking about mechanical energy specifically because there are many kinds of energy. Everybody knows nuclear energy, electrical energy, heat energy, something like that. But today we're going to talk only about mechanical energy. Uh, so once again, the ability of the objects to perform an action or a work is called mechanical energy. And there are two types of mechanical energy. There, there is kinetic energy and potential energy. And now we're going to talk about something about them um, separately. And our second question today is, what is kinetic energy? Uh, the definition that I found the best when dealing with kinetic energy is, the energy that objects have due to their velocity is called kinetic energy, marked as EK. Uh, so this is kinetic energy. It is also called uh, otherwise movement energy. Um, at school, we used, when, we, when we had to, to do with kinetic energy, we, we, we mentioned it as as movement energy because when bodies are in movement uh, they have kinetic energy and the formula to measure kinetic energy is half of mv square and the unit of energy is is joule uh, what's interesting about kinetic energy is that um, heat uh, is thought or is actually uh, kinetic energy uh, this is because with the increase of kinetic energy uh, the velocity of uh, molecules is increased the velocity of particles is increased uh, so the probability that particles with heat will heat each other uh, during their movement is bigger and when they heat each other they generate or they produce heat heat so um, kinetic energy in a way is heat uh, and about the formula we mentioned half of mv squared now we're going to talk how to derive this formula uh, earlier we mentioned that uh, energy is performing a work or performing an action so ek equals with a or equals with work now about work everybody knows that it is a product of force over distance so a is equals f times s and the force uh, from the newton second's law uh, which which we have dealt with it earlier in another video um, we said that it is the product of mass and the acceleration so F equals MA and this S uh, on the formula of uh, of work is equals with half is equals half of a t squared or the half of product of acceleration and the square of time uh, now uh, to derive the formula uh, half of mv square all we have to do is substitute in instead of s uh, instead of a actually now we have f times s instead of s from uh, newton's second law uh, we have ma times s uh, ma we write it down and instead of s we put half of a t square and now all we have to do is multiply and we get uh, we get that uh, kinetic energy is half of m a t all square now a t is equal to v or is equal to velocity so we get that uh, kinetic energy is half of mv square this is the way uh, that we derive the formula for kinetic energy uh, and uh, this is the kinetic energy when objects have no initial velocity because uh, there are two actually kinds of formulas when, when, when dealing with kinetic energy uh, the one that have initial velocity and the one that don't have initial velocity uh, so the formula uh, we say it's e k equals half of mv square it's uh, for objects without initial velocity 
and the formula for bodies with initial velocity is equals uh, is a e k equals half of m v square minus half of m v zero square. This v zero is uh, initial uh, initial velocity, uh, and we also have to mention uh, that uh, there are two two kinds of um, kinetic energy, as as particles or as bodies as objects can. Uh, perform linear movement and uh, angular movement then there is uh, angular kinetic energy and linear kinetic energy this formula that we learn ek equals half of mv squared is for linear kinetic uh, linear kinetic energy and about angular kinetic energy instead of m we have to put momentum and instead of v we have to put uh, omega which is for angular velocity so uh, the formula for angular kinetic energy is half of uh, I, I omega squared. This is the rotational kinetic energy or the angular kinetic energy called otherwise. Our third and last question for today is about potential energy. What is potential energy? Um, and the definition that I found best about potential energy is that the energy that an object has because of its position is called potential energy. So if you're standing somewhere high and the thing is not moving around uh, then you contain um, potential energy. Uh, so the formula of potential energy is equals EP equals MGH. So it expresses the product of mass, gravity, and height. Uh, the unit is the same as kinetic energy, the same as work, the same as energy as entirety. So the unit is joule. I mean, thinking of potential energy, um, think of yourself that you're standing on the top of London Eye and think is not moving around, it's not rotating, up there you contain um, you contain uh, kinetic potential energy actually anyways um, let's go on to a drill the drill, the only drill that we have for today doing with kinetic energy um, and the text of the drill uh, states what is the kinetic energy, uh, energy of an object falling from a height of 50 meters and whose mass is 30 kilograms so um, our unknown and the thing that we have to find in this uh, in this drill is kinetic energy. Uh, the height is 50 meters, the mass is 30 kilograms, and uh, another unknown is velocity because when we dealt, when we said mentioned earlier the form of kinetic energy, uh, we said half of mv square, but in the text there is no velocity, there is no v, so we have to find it. And to find velocity, we have to use a formula that we learned earlier previously uh, in a previous video uh, when we when we dealt with free fall so the formula for finding velocity in this case is the square root of 2gh the next step is just substituting instead of uh, instead of h we got 50 meters um, instead of g we got 9.81 meters per second square which is earth's um, gravitational attraction and uh, 2 as, as a constant in this case uh, so the multiplication of those numbers gives us uh, 981 meters square second square and the velocity of that body falling from uh, 8 to 50 meters is 31.32 meters square and next we have to substitute it in the equation for kinetic energy so we got half of family square mass 50 kilograms and velocity square 31.32 meters all square uh, we then have 50 kilograms times 980.94 meters square second square and the final result is 49,047 joules because kilogram meter square second square gives us joule and um, as a homework for you I want you to find of course if you can uh, the potential energy of that body uh, of that object uh, falling from that head that we, that we gave in the text of the drill uh, thank you for watching the video. If you have any comments, please post them uh, down there. And thank you for watching the video again.